Hello everyone, are you ready to learn all about graphing your trig functions? Well, ready or not, here they come. First of all, let's just take a look at what, what they look like. This front right here is your typical sine graph. They call it a sine wave. And this is one period of it. This graph will continue in both directions. It never stops. So this is just one period, but it does continue in this direction. And in this direction, it will go up and curve and come down again. Now, the cosine graph looks just like the sine graph because it also will continue. So if I erase this part of the sine graph and I were to continue this cosine graph, this is going to go down. And then here, this is going to continue and come down. So you can see it looks like a sine wave. So the sine and the cosine, when you extend them, look exactly the same. But take away that extension. This is the cosine graph. That's for one period of it. And then we have tangent. Tangent comes in pairs. Two lines come together. So for today, we are just going to talk about this sine graph, which looks like this. All right, we got some words that you need to know, parts of the graph. So one part of the graph is called the amplitude. The amplitude is how high it goes. So you can see this dotted line here is up at one, two, three, up at four. So the amplitude would be four, and it would then go down to negative four. The phase shift is your starting point. So for this particular graph, it starts right here. Starting point is negative pi. That would be the phase shift. The period is how long it is from the beginning to the end. So this one here, we have pi, negative pi. The difference between the two of them would be two pi. So the period is two pi. And then we have what's called the vertical shift. That would be if you were to move this. So the normal sine graph that we just looked at was right here. Maybe it would help if that was a different color. We will make that one red. So in red, that's where the sine graph was for everything we looked at so far. If I were to take this whole thing and shift it down a little bit, that's a vertical shift. So this dotted green line is down at negative two. That would be the vertical shift, negative two. All right, so we have this graph here. We're gonna find the amplitude phase shift, period, vertical shift. So looking at this, the amplitude well, would go up to five here. We're going up two. So the amplitude would be two. The phase shift, where it starts, well, it starts right here at the axis. So that would be zero. Period, we are going from zero over here to this point, which is two pi. So zero to two pi, that would be two pi. The vertical shift, it did not go up or down. It started right here on the x-axis. So the vertical shift is zero. All right, let's take a look at another one. We want the amplitude here. Well, we might need to put a line for where this graph starts and ends. It is right here that it's starting. That is at three. And it is going up to here, which is five. So it's going from three to five. So that difference would be two. Oh, not five. It's from where it starts to how high it goes. So from three to five, the amplitude's gonna be two. The phase shift, where it starts. Well, it starts right here. That's pi over two. The period from start to finish, we have to find the difference. So the difference between pi over two and three pi over two is pi. You subtract three pi over two minus one pi over two, you get two pi over two, that is pi. Vertical shift, how far did it move from the x-axis? Well, it went up here to three. So the vertical shift is three. 
All right, now you are going to name all of those by looking at these graphs. And there is no making fun of Mrs. Taylor's graphs. I know my lines aren't the best, but it's a little tough to draw on the smart board from my laptop. So you've got four here. You're going to take a look at the graph. You are going to name these four things. And then next time you hear my voice, we will be talking about cosine graphs. Bye-bye.